In this video, we'll configure the M340 hardware, open a new file, and select our processor. We can right click on the PLC to open a new window and it shows a diagram of our hardware. So it's placed a power supply and a processor. The processor fits in a slot. On this rack, the rack is this back plane piece. There are a number of slots. This one has eight slots on the rack and we'll place a different card in every slot. Each of the slots are numbered and the Unity Pro system uses uh, starts its numbering at zero. So most of the uh, times things will be numbered you'll see it starts at zero. To place the cards in the slot you right click on the slot and from the menu select your card. Our first one is an analog card. We have two other cards. First is a discrete 24 volt card. It's got inputs and outputs. And the last one is a relay card. Now this rack has eight slots. The rack we're using only has six, so we can change that. We can right click on the rack. Is the six slot one. There, we've got our hardware configured. Now we should build it. And when we build it, this indicator will turn from yellow to green if it works. So the build was successful. Now we'll save it. And the file type that we're saving is a .stu. Now in Unity Pro, the .stu file can only be read by the same version of software that created it. So I'm using version 5.1. If I update to version 6.0, it won't be able to read or to open that .stu file. So what we should do is also export it and I'm going to keep the name the same and by default the export comes up as a .xef extension. There, now we've saved it and exported it so it can be opened by a future version of Unity Pro.